If you're recording videos with your computer or you're making big video project files, you're probably wondering, how should I be backing these up just in case the worst happens? I'm Brighton West, and in this video, I'm going to share my backup strategy with you, uh, which has two different redundant layers, and hopefully one of those or both of those will be right for you. So I work with coaches and therapists and authors and different folks who are using video for marketing and to expand their practice. And I do a lot of those videos for them, but some of my clients are doing this on their own and maybe you're DIYing your videos and that's great, but you're probably seeing that your files are really big and you're starting to wonder, how should I be backing these up? A lot of backup solutions just don't even back up video files because they're so big. Uh, so I'm gonna go through what I'm doing. And really the reason I'm doing this video is because on Monday morning I woke up to a flashing yellow light on one of my hard drives. And what I found out digging in the software is that one of my hard drives had failed. But that's okay because of my systems that I have in place. And I'm gonna talk about those just briefly and then I'm gonna go into more in depth to explain how they work. So the first system I have is called a, a RAID system or mirrored hard drives. So really what this is is an enclosure with two hard drives inside and they're an exact copy of each other. So the computer sees one hard drive, but when it goes out there, it puts a copy on each one. If either one of them should fail, the computer keeps seeing the data on the other one while the little orange light comes on and says, hey, Brighton, it's time to replace that failed hard drive. And then when you put it in, it copies all the data back. So you have that redundant copy. Um, and this is really simple. You can set these up, you can buy them online. The only thing is it's a little bit more pricey because you're buying two hard drives instead of one. Uh, but I'll go into the details there. My, my second option is something that I just started recently, and that is backing up to the internet using software. I'm, I'm using a service called Backblaze. And what the reason that I'm doing this now and I wasn't doing this before was my internet connection just wasn't fast enough for video files. I've upgraded my internet connection to fiber. So right now I've got fiber, it's a gigabit fiber. And what's special about fiber is the fiber is the speed is the same going up and coming down. So say you have a cable internet and you've got great speed for watching Netflix and you can you can download files and they, they play really well. Usually the speed that you can send files up to the internet is much, much less. But with fiber, it's the same. So I can send a gigabit uh, worth of files in no time straight up to the internet. So that's that's the difference that's allowed me to have cloud storage for video files because they're just so huge. Let's go back and we'll first talk about that RAID system. I'll give you the details and then I'll come back and tell you the details on the Backblaze system. So let's talk about that RAID solution. This is the one that sits on your desk. It's just an external hard drive with two hard drives inside. So head over to Amazon here and there's links down below if you wanna support my YouTube channel to pick up any of this. This is the one that I purchased most recently is this 20 terabyte MyBook Duo. And so what's going on here is it says it's 20 terabytes, but remember it's two 10 terabyte drives. So really in the end, all you're gonna see is 10 terabytes, not the entire 20. So if you're trying to calculate how much space you need, be sure to take into account that the finished space is half of the total that you buy on Amazon. And you'll note here that there are other RAID drives here. So you can see some of these things, if you're looking at buying a RAID drive, sometimes what you're buying is just the box to put all of the hard drives inside. But this one from Western Digital, it's the box, it's the enclosure plus the two drives inside. And you can go in here and, and decide which size is right for you. So if you just want a total of two terabytes of storage, you can go down there and if you want 12 terabytes, you can go all the way up to there, just depending on your budget and your needs. So these drives come with management software. So this is the WD Drive Utilities. And you can see I've got two of them connected to my computer right now. Here's that most recent one, the 20 terabytes. And you can see some information about it. So when you go to set one of these up, by default, when they come from the factory, they're set up as, it's called RAID 0, which is to use all 20 terabytes of that drive. So performance is good, however, you have no redundancy, you have no backup, and you've probably doubled the chance of a hard drive failure because if either one of the drives goes bad, all of your data is gone. 
So we're gonna wanna set this up. What you'll do is go into the software into RAID management, and you can see this current configuration is already RAID 1 mirrored, but you could go into configuration here and change from Stripe, which is how it comes from the factory, to mirror. And note that whenever you change one of these configurations, it's gonna wipe your hard drive clean. So you need to do this right away when you get the hard drive. This is also the software that'll show you when something's gone wrong with one of your hard drives. So this is the one where I had a hard drive fail. And if I go to RAID management, RAID status, you can he see that it's degraded here and that one of the drives has failed, but the other one is still online. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna go and put a new drive in here and it's gonna rebuild it and I'll have another mirror image of the one that's good. Uh, but right now I could access these files just fine on my computer. I really wouldn't notice any difference. But Western Digital has a three year warranty. So you can just go work with them and get a new one out. They send you a new one, you put it in, you send back the old one. Um, and the one thing you don't want to do is just to leave your drive in this status for any length of time because now you're down to just one hard drive and if the second one fails for some reason then uh, everything's gone so be sure when that happens to get on the phone with western digital or over on their website and get this solved as quickly as possible so that is a system that i use here to make sure that i don't have any problems but it's here in my house and if some one thing were to happen if i was to to be burglarized or a fire hit my house um, i would lose everything except for the fact that I have that second backup system. And let me look at that. That is called Backblaze. And so here is their website and you can try it for free for a week. And it's really pretty inexpensive. I do the personal backup because my business is small to just me. I don't have servers and multiple locations and whatnot. So really I just need the um, my computer and the hard drives that are connected to it. If you're a bigger company, you might be working over in the business solution. But for personal backup, you can see here for pricing, um, we're talking just 60 bucks a year. So this is, a, this is really a great deal as long as you can feed the information quickly to them with a fast internet connection. So you can see a couple of the different options here as to how this is set up. But let me take you over onto my computer as to how it's set up on my computer. So I'm gonna head up here to this Blaze icon and go to Blaze Preferences. And so on my Mac, this is how it shows up. It'll show up a little differently on a PC. But you can see that it's been continuously backing up. Uh, looks like we're at about 12 terabytes worth of data. And if I go into Settings, I can choose things like which hard drives to back up. And this plan does include external hard drives for just $60, $60 a year. The difference is though, if you want to use this as like an archive thing, I've got a lot, a lot of hard drives that I hardly ever plug in, but I was like, oh, let me just plug these in and get them uploaded to the cloud. You have to plug in your hard drives at least every 30 days for Backblaze to keep them um, current online, unless you buy a little bit of an upgrade. So I bought the upgrade, that way I can load up as many external hard drives um, as I want, but if you just have one or two external hard drives and they're always connected to your machine, you don't need to buy that upgrade. It's only if you have hard drives that you've stored away in your closet. But you can see here, these are the different hard drives that I have um, that I have backing up. And you can also set the performance based on how fast you want the backup to occur. Um, if your computer is fast and your internet is fast, you can you can send the data faster without degrading the performance of your computer. So when you head over to Backblaze Preferences, you'll see a restore option here. And that's actually gonna take you over to their website. And you can see the different options here. I'll get to those in a second. So it's going to list all the files that you have backed up on all the different hard drives. And then it'll take a second to load. I've got a lot of data up there. Uh, you can go through and check off the pieces that you want, and then you can choose to restore it in a different fashion. So let me just find something here on my computer, just one file. Um, here we go. Well, I just want to say I'm going to want, I want that file back. You can see continue to restore is still grayed out. That's because I didn't select the method of, of how I want these files. Typically, if you only lose one file or a project or something like that, you can just click download and continue with restore. That'll download the computer, the file to your computer. But there are other options. Say if your house burns down or you lose an entire hard drive, 
they can ship out a hard drive to you full of your data or a flash drive. And there's a number of different options here that you can see. So I would love to know what you are doing to keep your files secure. And if you're a coach, an author, a speaker, a, a therapist, I would love to talk to you about online video for your business. You can click over here to schedule a free 30 minute consultation. Or if you wanna watch some more videos from my channel, click on up here. I'll see you in the next video.